Holy lizard skins. Can you guys believe what we have here? We have a Grim Pop beer. These are some of my favorite series of beers. It is, uh, they're a dessert beer, and each one they brew a little bit different each time. Um, they've had raspberry, they've had blueberry, they've had mango. Uh, this one is just Power Pop. There's no fruit in it. It's still got the milk sugar, it's still got the vanilla. It's uh, gonna be a really good time, I think, I hope. But before we go into that and dive into our Hoppy Year Days review, I wanted to say thank you to D.E. Uh, he helped me come up with the name, and I shipped your beers on off to you, and you should be receiving them soon. Post haste. The thing about Grimm is they'll brew a batch of beer, and then they never brew it again. It's like a one-shot deal. It's like, come on, I want... Brew it again, goddammit. Pop beers, uh, they've never repeated. They just brew different varieties. So if you're able to get your hands on one of the Grim Pop beers, I would suggest either keeping a close watch on it in your house or drinking it relatively quickly because you never know what sort of greasy old slime ball pervert's gonna sneak up and try to snatch your beer away from you, try to drink it for themselves, try to not let you enjoy it. They just want the dessert beer themselves. You never know. And for that, you need to have precaution. I just got this beer today, so I'm drinking it today. I'm not, I'm not taking any chances. Let's move forward and you guys can enjoy me pour this liquid into my belly. Yum. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys before we crack into this special beer, and since it's a special occasion, I wanted to bring out a special glass. This glass, right here. I don't often drink out of it. Feast your eyes on this little puppy. This little guy right here has been handed down to my family for over seven generations. My uncle had it, which his uncle before had it, and his uncle before that him had it, and it just been, has been passed down from uncle to uncle to uncle. My great great uncle, we were camping, he pulled this out of his backpack, his rucksack, and said, Sam, I want you to have this. I want you to take the throne. I want you to have this. It has our family gem in it. Take care of it. Only use it for special beers. Enjoy it. Make sure it is treated with care. You are the rightful owner of the Kenyan Chalice. Enjoy it. Drink it. Drink it. Let's uh, try the Grim Pop beer. This is going to be really good, and I've really been looking forward to this one. I, uh,. I always get super excited over the Grim Pop beers, guys. So, I think this one will be no different. Not a care in the world, just gonna enjoy this Grim Pop. <sighs> it's just a pitch white head. Um, yeah, it's it's got a deep, kinda like an orange juice color to it. Um, hazy huh. it smells outstanding it really smells good it smells like a great grim beer um, let's try this beer this is quite a beer for the senses guys I couldn't think of anything better to get your mind off something awful or terrible it has you can taste the vanilla, very far on the vanilla. It does have a creamy taste to it. And then at the end, you do get like on the back of your tongue, like this bitterness of hops. It's very good, it's very complex. It's not as sweet as some of their pop beers that I remember having back in the day, much like other things I've had that are now gone. Yeah guys, if I had to give this a rating, I'd give it probably 858 out of 859 pieces of glass. Um, yeah, I try to pick this beer up, friends. Um, <coughs> it's really good. Um, thanks for watching. This is another episode of Hoppier Days. Um, remember to subscribe and yeah, I love hearing from you guys. It really boosts my self-esteem, and sometimes I really need that. So, leave a comment, leave a like, follow me on Instagram. <laughs>